first of all, thank you for being here for conversations with me. It was strange driving over from the arena on Jefferson Street right here with the signs that said conversations with Tom Brown because that's the street that my wife and I walk our dogs on. And my name's on it now. So if you guys could save one of those signs for me, I'd like to, to have that to, to put up. Uh, and, but Lisa will tell you having conversations with Tom Brown usually involves answering the question, red or white? Um, which we're gonna have, red wine or white wine? What are we? Uh, we want to say thank you to our presenting sponsor, Tupelo Convention and Visitors Bureau, and a special thank you to the major sponsors, the Tupelo Elvis Presley Fan Club, Toyota Mississippi, and Visit Mississippi. I know you've heard me talking about that, but those are important people for us. we got some cool things planned for you, some things you know about, and some things that are going to be a surprise. The big surprise will be if it actually happens. Uh, <laughs> But if it doesn't, I didn't overpromise because I didn't tell you what it was yet. So that's that's kind of nice. Now I've got some cool guests backstage. Everybody's getting to know each other. But I wanted to uh, just uh, to to show you a few things about where you are right now before we uh, before we get into it. And uh, this was where there's some discrepancy, and maybe when Roy comes out, we can find out. Uh, Elvis, in some reports, went to sixth, seventh, and parts of eight uh, to hear at Milam and. Other reports say that he went here 7th and part of 8th. I can confirm I went here 7th and 8th grades. It was on this stage in, I think, 1974, where I was student conductor of my 7th grade band to the Three Dog Night, Black and White, the song Black and White. The ink is black, the page is white. You that one? And I conducted that right here. And at some point, they rebuilt the entire school and made it smaller. It's weird. There used to be windows all along these walls when I was here with big giant curtains on them, but I guess we didn't care about paying for energy. I guess that came about later, and they sealed it off. But you can still see and sense by the, the columns on the side some of the history here. This is what it looked like. Um, come on. It's on. Boy, you should have been here for rehearsal. The mic worked. There it is. There it is. There's a postcard from the 40s. And the, uh, the door most of you might have come in is the one there in the center with the big white columns on it right there. That's the main, that's the main door. In case you're wondering, my uh, homeroom was just down the hall on the right right here. So this. But we're glad to be here. I, and and, and here's, here's one of the reasons that we are here. When I met with Lucia, uh, the new director at the downtown Tupelo Main Street. We were talking about what can we do for conversations. You, sometimes we've had it at the Lyric, and it's been fun there. But they've got a play coming up, so they they were not available. And we don't. I don't like doing conversations in the arena because it just seems so huge for for this. And I said, boy, wouldn't it be a great idea if we could go in the auditorium, either at Milam or Longhorn, where Elvis, you know, was on stage as a kid. And most of us, if you're not from here, didn't go to school here, you've just driven around from the outside and looked at all these buildings. Well, now you get to be in the auditorium where Elvis, as a kid, was on stage. So I thought that was important, and we're thankful for the Tupelo Public Schools that let us come in. You know, school's out right now, so they're letting us traipse around their building, and we appreciate it. Uh, I was here the other day on a sightseeing kind of scout thing, and we were walking down the hall, and I saw this machine. And I thought, well, we didn't have anything like that. I thought, are they selling newspapers? Or is that Coca-Cola? What is that? It's, a, it's They sell pencils. For 25 cents, you can get a pencil now. And this is my pencil. Sharpeners must be extra because it's not sharpened. When I was here, maybe when you, you had a, we had a store at school that was a little, it had the, the two doors on it, and they would open the top door, and a student would sell our supplies to us. A student! I don't think those books balanced at the end of the year, frankly. But that's what we...